Faithfulness is great. Your faithfulness toward us is great. Thank you for your consistency. You're faithful, you're faithful. You're faithful, you're faithful.
You don't have to stress just to rest upon his and to know the
Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those discouraged. I pray for those confused. I pray for those who have no more hope, who are angry, who are frustrated, who are tired, who are enraged, who are asking questions, who are looking for you. Father, I pray just by your power, by your spirit, woo, that you settle their souls, Father. Settle our souls before you can do anything outward. Work on us inward. Settle, settle our souls, Father, to be able to manage what you're going to do. Settle our souls to be able to be enlarged and stretched and have the capacity for what you're going to do. Settle, settle us, Father. Settle us. Settle the nation. Hallelujah. Settle the, woo, yeah. Settle the angry. Settle the tired. Settle the frustrated. You said, come unto me. All of you who are tired, who are weary, who are tired of fighting, who are tired of yelling, who are tired of being unheard, come, come to me and I will give you rest. Father, I thank you for your rest. Hallelujah. I thank you for your rest over our culture. Yeah. I thank you for your rest over our generation. Hallelujah. I thank you for your rest over our spirits, over our bodies, over our minds, over our emotions. Father, let the rest, hallelujah, let the rest of the Holy Spirit be released. Let the rest of the Holy Spirit, the rest of the Holy Spirit that allows us to fight and still sleep, yeah. The rest of the Holy Spirit that allows us to still speak out but still not have anger. The rest of the Holy Spirit, the rest of the Holy Spirit that allows us to be angry but sin not. The rest of the Holy Spirit. That doesn't allow what people may do to us, how people may hate us, to affect what you're doing in us. Woo! With the rest of the Holy Spirit. And Father, we release your power. We release your word. We release your spirit. We release, yeah, yeah, we release, you, hallelujah. Woo! We release the axe, your axe, the hammer, the sword of the spirit. We release that even to every evil spirit that is, yeah, that is lingering in every space, whether it's a work environment, whether it's a church. Father, right now in this empty room, we release your sword of the spirit. For you said it's not by might, it's not by our power, it's not by our words, but it's by your spirit. So Father, Holy Spirit, do what you need to do in the hearts. Do what you need to do in the minds. By your spirit move by your spirit move by your spirit move turn the hearts of men transform the hearts of men father by your spirit move we're not praying empty prayers but we're standing on your faithfulness man Woo! 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 you've carried us we're standing on your faithfulness You've carried us through Jim Crow. We're standing on your faithfulness. You've carried us through slavery. We're standing on your faith. You have been faithful to do it before, and we know you're going to do it again. That's what we're standing on. Carried us through the silverware. We're standing on your faithfulness, your consistency, your never changingness. That's, that's what we're speaking and praying from. Some of us may not have all the hope we need, may be discouraged, but we thank you that there's an authority <laughs> that is so much stronger than our hopelessness. There's an authority that's so much stronger than our discouragement. It's the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ who reigns on this earth. Yeah, who reigns on this earth. Father, have your way. We will trust you. We will trust you. We will trust you. We will trust you. Give us grace.